just look at this. Look at the colors. Odessa, the boom sign, he's a male. He's going to be completely black. Not to get racist about it, but he's going to be black. It, 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 the camera, I know it's my, I know I gotta change the camera, I know I need a better camera, but, you know, he's just such a different color than you see, and by the way, to all the people who are making these stupid comments, I'm not sweating because I'm scared, I'm not scared if there's no snake, that I fear none, and I don't think that I'm cool because of that, you put a spider in front of me and I'll shart, I just, I'm not scared of snakes, I'm not sweating because I'm scared of the snakes, I'm sweating because I crank the heat to 80, so that when they come out, they're comfortable, just have common ambient temperature. So stop telling me that I'm sweating because I'm scared. Because Does he look scary to you? Actually, he might be to you. I get that. But I don't want to diminish that. He might be scary to you. The point is, over time, you can lose your fear of snakes. You never have to hold a venomous one, of course. You know, that's something that just, like, few people do. It's a hobby. You know, you'd be surprised how many, though. But, you know, look, you have the right to not like them. But what you don't have the right to do is to hurt them. You don't have the right to go to them to a snake that would, you know, no snake will ever chase you or go after you. That's all bullshit. You don't have the right to go to them to hurt them preemptively because you're saving someone. You don't have the right to round them up and think you're being cool and you're brave. You know, you think you're brave, round them up, bring it to me. And then let's talk about how tough you are, little bitch. I hate people. Sorry. Sorry, I get carried away. I shouldn't have said that. Uh... Just be cool with the snakes, because they'll be cool with you all the time. You know, they're not dogs, they're not puppies, they're not born loving you, but they can learn. You know, they can learn to be something. I don't know the words, but once the fear is gone, look what his tail is doing. Look how cool it is. Once there's no more fear, well, that's when some sort of bond is created. Call it whatever you want. I don't know what to call it, but it's beautiful. And here you see. Here he sits. You tell me. You tell me, what do you see? Maybe you just see a snake that's tired because he moved too much. Or maybe you see a guy who's terrified and he's sweating, you know, and the snake is about to kill him. I don't know what you see. I see a snake that has been with me a relatively short period of time who has absolutely no fear of me. And I see a really, really handsome man who has no fear of snakes whatsoever. And I see that somehow, when those two things are happening at the same time, that the snake is sort of chill, the guy is sort of chill, and that the chillness sort of goes both ways, and it becomes a little bit of a thing, like a cycle, you know, and then something is born. I don't know what to call it. Use the love word. Use any word you want. You should see this rattlesnake behind me. I don't know what he's doing. He's on... You gotta see this. Look. Oh, he's not doing anymore. He was hanging... Yeah, see, he's hanging from the roof. He was hanging from the roof and watching the video. I swear to God. Look, he's on top of his little tote. I used that to carry him around. And yeah, he was doing that. He was hanging, doing that. He was watching the video. Crazy, man.